Hi, this is Mark Wu from eProgrammer.com. I'm going to talk about how to draw a pool. That's his diagram for the pool. It's not very simple, but it's not difficult either. So first of all, we draw a circle. After we draw the circle, we make it to be a cylinder. In this tutorial, you will learn a few different things. One is the reference. We use the reference when we want to do some sketch using some specific edge. You see in the top, the arrow, when I touch the edge, when I click on the edge, it has one more variable in there. That's just one more reference. The good thing is, you can see I'm using uh, the front pane to draw the circle for the cylinder. Right now, I'm on the right pane and if I want to draw something on the white pane using the 3D app in the front pane, we can use the reference to do that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw the, the required shape. and it will take a few minutes. In this tutorial, you are not only learning um, the reference, you also you are going to learn the pattern, circular pattern. What it is is when you draw one circle or when you draw something on a circle, you want to rotate it along an axis. You can do that, you can use the function, pattern, rotational pattern, and it will rotate the same shape along the whole axis for many times. So it will, it will copy and duplicate the same shape on the part. There are so many details in this drawing, so I need to follow all the details. And if you have chance to read about another tutorial, you know how we do the um, modify. And modify is one of the critical functions. You can search on our YouTube website or go to um, you can search in our YouTube channel or go to uh, eeprogrammer.com. There are another tutorial talking how to use modify to edit the part and join. It is very useful and as you know, modification is very important because you know every time when you draw something wrong, you don't want to change something, you need to do modification and editing. So, you are not going to only learn about weapons, pattern, you will also learn about you will also learn about the wall.
So now I'm going to use the wall to make this circular cut. I snap at exit. Perpendicular to the pane and do the evolve. After I click OK, you can see the shape. The 2D shape rotate along the axis and create a 3D object. Tap on the 3D object. Now, we are going to use the reference again. Because we want to draw our circle exactly on the axis. But this axis, we didn't use it on this pane, that is on the other pane. If we want to use this axis, we need to use reference. Cut through the hole. Now I'm get ready to do the circular pattern. This is the pattern features. Pattern. I select the axis. I rotate along that specific axis. for six times. So you can see the there are six circle, six six hole on this pulley. Now finally I'm going to draw a middle hole. And that is very simple. Basically, it is use the extrude function. And that is the portal. 